How you doing, everybody? Keanu Reeves is back for possibly the last time in John Wick Chapter 4, directed by Chad Stowski. John is somehow not dead after the events of the last movie, and for aiding and abetting Mr. Wick, Winston, played once again by Ian McShane, has suffered for it. He has been declared excommunicado by the high table, and his hotel has been destroyed. And because John can't run forever, he is trying to settle this mess with the high table once and for all. This leads to a duel between him and a member of the high table, the Marquis Vincent de Gramont, played by Bill Skarsgård. And a whole lot of people get shot in the face. I am very much a fan of this franchise. I'm a fan of most things Keanu Reeves does, mainly because the more money he makes, the more money he can give to charity. Seriously, he is like the nicest guy on planet Earth. And like the previous movies, this was also a lot of fun, but it is maybe starting to lose me. This franchise started out mostly grounded in reality, but as time has gone on, it has just become progressively more ridiculous. There was a scene in one of the previous movies that had me asking, is everyone in New York an assassin? And now in this movie, I have to ask, is everyone in Paris an assassin? Because it sure seems like it. There's a scene where John has to take out a ridiculous number of people in a nightclub, and the actual patrons in that nightclub are paying no attention to all the killing going on around them until suddenly they do. For like 10 minutes, John is shooting and stabbing and beating people up, and the people dancing in the club do not care until towards the end of the scene, all of a sudden they realize, oh shit, people are dying, we gotta run, and then they go. I guess it wasn't until the end of the fight that the drugs finally wore off? I don't know. And then John has to go through a massive amount of assassins in a sequence around the Arc de Triomphe, and then up this huge staircase on his way to the Sacre Coeur in a sequence that is very clearly meant to be a tribute to the warriors. And again, the sheer number of people he has to kill. No wonder the streets of Paris are piling up with garbage. It's not because the sanitation workers are on strike. It's because John killed them all. But despite the insanity, or maybe in part because of it, this was very entertaining. There's still plenty of John shooting people in the face, and I am amazed at how many times he will shoot someone in the face multiple times. I mean, he's very thorough when he makes sure someone is dead. And the entire staircase sequence was just nuts. I always appreciate when directors aren't overly reliant on quick cuts and just let the action play out. And Stalski has many different ways of doing that, including one sequence that has a mostly overhead view. It almost feels like a video game. And I don't know what I can say about Keanu. He was just born to play this character. I can't imagine anyone else doing it. And Skarsgård as the Marquis is just such a slimy bastard. And I mean that as a compliment. And I really like Shamir Anderson as an assassin simply known as Nobody. And no, that is not a reference to the Bob Odenkirk character, although that would be an interesting crossover. He absolutely could not care less what's going on between John and the high table. He just wants a good payday. And he has a dog. And no, the dog does not die. It was nice to see Lance Reddick again, RIP. And Donnie Yen has an interesting role as a blind assassin. And this is now the second time I have seen him play a blind warrior. But did they really have to name the blind man Kane? Like, really? Are they going to have a deaf assassin named Hearing Aid? I won't say too much about the ending, because I don't want to get into spoiler territory, but it's pretty much how I figured it was going to go. And the very last thing he says to Winston before the end of the movie, and Winston's reaction to it as he realizes exactly what John is asking him, that was powerful stuff. So even though this franchise has become somewhat detached from reality, it was still a lot of fun. And if you like the previous entries in the series, you will probably enjoy this as well. And stick around through the credits, because they will give you a little hint as to the future of the John Wick universe. And that's all I have to say about John Wick Chapter 4. Till next time, take care.